Hey everybody, this is Richard Knives, your favorite knife tuber, episode number 60. Today we're going to talk about this GEC, number 35, Titty Ute, Cattle Knife. Why are we talking about this knife? Because I carried this dude for 14 days straight. I gave myself a challenge, 14 days straight, as my only pocket knife. No modern folder, no other traditional. This is it, every single day, in my pocket, and um, I just kind of want to give you my review on it. I believe two weeks is enough to give a review. Um, my cons, my pros, all the good stuff. Now, I'm not going to stop carrying this knife. It has been 14 days. But I don't think I'm going to carry just one knife for 14 days again. Because... You knife folks know out there, if you have more than five or six knives, it's hard just to tote that one. I really bad wanted that modern folder in my pocket. I really bad wanted to sl to swap this out for something else. I have just too many knives that I like so much that I missed them. Not that this was bad, but I really, I, and I really love this thing, but I, I like the variety. You know what I'm saying? I like to... Uh, wake up in the morning, uh, pick out a knife or pick out a knife before I go to bed, what I'm going to carry the next day, and have it sitting there with my belt and my flashlight and my pen and my wallet and all that, ready to go in the morning to put in my pocket. Uh, this one, um, it kind of got a habit, which I haven't had in a long time, a habit knife, you know what I'm saying? To where I know this is what I'm going to carry every single day. It was kind of a good feeling and uh, a bad feeling at the same time because I wanted the other knives, but you know I really do like this knife. So let's go over the pros and cons real quick. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the pros. Number one, let's take a look around this thing. This is a a spear point. It is a titty. It says right there, titty cutlery cattle knife you see the itch right there it's 1095 steel carbon so you see the teeners right there right long pull beautiful swedge that's one of the best looking blades i've ever seen on a pocket knife that spear point gc makes my goodness it also has two other blades and if y'all know me i'm a single blade filler But, we'll talk about that in a minute. This is the sheep's foot. It's got the nail nick on the lefty side. It says carbon right there on that tang. That's also 1095. And that bad boy gets sharp. And the pin blade. Or the spade blade. I think that's a spay. Yeah, look at the swedge on that though. Goodness gracious alive. She's a looker. This is number one pro. It's beautiful. I just want you to kind of look at right here on the outside of this bone and look at that color. I'm gonna move it around this light so you can see it somewhat. Both sides of this are beautiful. Not just the covers, but the knife. Look at that back spring. What? It's a GC back spring. And that plum near looks like one piece of metal. Don't it? These bolsters, they're rounded so perfectly. They're just... The knife is beautiful. The blades fit in there just perfect. This right here, it has heft to it. Goodness. It's a looker. This thing is a looker. It's beautiful. Uh, second thing is the covers, like I talked about, the jigging on it. This is good looking jigging. You see inside those little channels right there, there's kind of like a little, uh, 
I don't know what you'd call it. I guess a, like where it just caught boom, 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 all the way down. Uh, I don't even know what to call that. I just know it looks really good. It's some kind of texture inside that channel where they jigged that bone and that looks really good. And you see where they terminated the jigging right there. If I, my camera will catch it. Sorry about hitting the camera. But it's still flush. Wow. Both sides look really good. This side's got a little bit light on the bone right here. And it is good looking. Just the look of this knife. Man. Yeah, the covers look so good. Uh, the shield. They got titty oot in there. And it's pinned in there. That's a good looking shield. It just rounds out. It's just perfect for it. Uh, it hard, it'd be hard for me to think of another cover. If you told me I had to swap covers, what cover I'd want more than this. The covers look really good. The fit and finish. We all know GEC uh, has, you know, really good fit and finish for the most part. I, I've had... Uh, a couple of GCs that weren't perfect. They had some off center. They had some proud pins that, you know. Uh, but this one is literally the best. And people that say literally, I think, don't have a vocabulary. That's me. Uh, this is uh, the best fit and finish on any pocket knife that I've ever held in my hand. Um, th there's no gap anywhere at all not even close um no blade touches another there's no rub and i want you to see how close these are to each other they're um just they're so close but they're not rubbing even when you push that nail nick that does not have any rub on this blade at all none it's like a uh <laughs> it's a it's a piece of art man uh, the action the walk and talk you heard that that's another pro for me uh just the way it sounds the way it closes all these blades Listen. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, the blades themselves. Let's talk about the spear real quick. So the spear, like I said, is perfect. The swedge, the long pull, just the shape of that blade. It's good for cutting that belly right there. It's, it's big enough to do what you want to do. It's beautiful. This just the spear point blade I mean, blade makes this knife. I mean, look, it matches so well with this cigar pattern that spear blade. And then the sheep's foot. This thing is handy. I'll tell you that right now. It is handy because of that point right there to get down in there and cut. I'm just. This is perfect for boxes, uh, opening tape, um, mail, whatever you want to do. It's it's all about it. You know what I'm saying? And then that little pin, I just kind of kept this sharp and used it every now and then. I didn't use it on food, so I don't really have a patina. But that booger is sharp. I'd show you, but I don't really have no hair. You know sharpening folks don't have hair on there. It's, it's, a uh, it's sharp. I hate cutting my hair off, but I do it all the time. <clears throat> and then, you know, this, speaking of this blade right here, this etch is probably my favorite etch of any GEC. Can you see it? How about you right, right there in the back? Can you see that? I need to get closer. Let me, let me do this for you. Looky there. That thing is gorgeous. That's cool. 
That's, that reminds me of Texas right there. Uh, the the 1095 patinas real well. Uh, you know, I'm surprised it didn't cover that edge though because I cut a lot of food with this blade. I really did. And then, um, you know, the build quality of this thing is just like GC's the best at this. They really are. Uh, I love the, the pattern, the shape, the teeners, the 1095 you know the spear point blade the covers everything coming together the fit and finish the snap uh man it's three blades you know so let's get into the cons that's one of the cons to me is it's three blades and it's thick and heavy i'm a single blade person um you know this and this it ain't really about thickness as much as it is weight because this sod buster is about the same thickness but this sod buster is about half the weight. It's only got one blade. And uh, while we got this out, that's a pretty good comparison to uh, size wise is that sod buster. But like I said, this is a whole lot less weight. I'm prone to carry those also uh, because of the weight uh, and single blades. Let's see. This, obviously, we're going to compare. This is another 35 Johnny on the spot. Right? And it's just a different blade configuration, different covers. Love this knife as well. Uh, this one is a 78. And this is a single blade. This is more like what uh, my preference would be. It's got the same spear point blade. Half stops, teeners. Uh man look at the blade on that the edge is going on it but you see the thinness of that that's more my style um just because i like a light thin carry and you see the difference right there and it's not the same pattern this is a sleeve board pattern this is a cigar pattern the way you can tell is uh this end's a little bigger than this end this is equal end so but they're really close in shape uh, love that 78 um, other comparisons case trapper it's a little uh, longer it's about the same thickness a lot of people know the size of this that's why I'm kind of doing a comparison on that and for y'all uh, modern folks this is a, a mini daggone daggone bench made griptilian almost couldn't think of it there for a minute but you see the handle is about close to the same size and the blade uh, the benchmate's got a lot more on it but there's that kind of give you a comparison um so uh cons to me number one is nail nicks i i don't like nail nicks I like to do this pinch um, I could even pinch this one I just get my meat inside that uh, you know long pull right there and grab it from the other side and just pull it and that's that's pretty cool um, but the thing about this one is you can't there's nowhere to pinch because of the blades over here yeah you can't you just can't pinch it and one thing about that is my nails are not very hard they tend to bend they don't break that much but i got to get in there and actually you know open it up with my nails so i kind of leave it a little longer there which i don't like long nails i'm a hand model for pete's sake not a very good one but um it's hard to get in there i've never liked pinching open i'm sorry i've never liked opening a knife with a nail nick I, I just don't like it i mean you may like it okay you don't have to yell at me whatever um and then uh the other con which there's only three cons number one nail nicks number two the three blades make it kind of heavy it's it's hefty 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 it's it weighs down your pocket if you know what guys talking about you know what i'm saying this, I said, you know what I'm saying? I was, 
I'm gonna say I say that too much, but <clears throat> I said it. That's only once. Calm down. Uh, and it's hard to find at a good price. That's number three. Uh, I was blessed with this knife. Somebody gave it to me. Uh, it's an epic <laughs> gift. Wow. Um, I really did. This was. <sighs> I'm having a hard time talking because. I, I'm kind of blown away that this was given to me. Um, I, I don't, I, I can't even put into words what it means for somebody to give you something like this because this is not something um, that's cheap. You know, somebody put thought into this and, uh, you know, that that's a big one. That's a big one. You, you know, you really care about somebody when you give them something like this and you got a good heart and, uh, it's hard even to receive something like this because, man, you, you feel like you didn't earn it. But uh, I told, uh, I think it was Georgia Adventure, Randy, he got that GEC and he was telling me, man, I don't deserve this. Let me give you some money. Let me pay you. Let me, uh, you know, give you at least something. I didn't earn this. And I told him, I said, you know, uh, my Bible says uh, you can't. Uh, you can't sow without reaping and you can't reap without sowing you know what i'm saying uh and he sowed good actions and he reaped the benefits so you know this came like right after i gave away a gc so i kind of feel like you know that's the way that the lord made the world you know you give and you get um i believe if you're a good person and you do good things it's going to come back to you that's not karma that's sowing and reaping that's my opinion um a lot of people call it karma but uh anywho i'm kind of ranting but this knife man how, how do you get this as a gift I, i'm just blown away so the you know the the con is it's hard to find at a good price it really is I, it was on my radar i told big j i told erica zdc I, i've told a bunch of people that this was on my my list it's on up there you know the fremont jack the uh um you know chris reeves uh man those are those are grill knives the the tc sheep's foot saw cut hey that's a that's a grill y'all know you can't have so many grills but this was up there it really was and I had gotten this one first and thought that was the only one that I was going to get. And I was pretty happy with it. And then it just so happened this came in the mail and I was blown away. Anyways. Uh, so, all in all, uh, I'll wrap it up. But this is one of the best knives I've ever owned. Best knives I've ever held in my hand. If not the best. Uh, and it's staying with me. It's not going nowhere. It's not for trade. It's not for sale. It's in my collection and hopefully my great great grandkids take care of the teeners on this um i love it and uh you know i think it's broken me of that single blade stigma i had because uh i really only carried one bladers and light one bladers you know with the exception of this you know stuff like that but i tried out this one and it has three blades but two of them ain't even really blades uh just because i wanted a camp knife and i like the 35 pattern because it reminds me of this i'm rambling um but it broke me of the the single blade thing i like the three blades i just don't like the the nail nicks and the non-pinchable but this knife is like the bees knees this is the one to have man love it if you can get a hold of one of these get it i highly recommend it highly recommend it i don't know what kind of price you'd have to pay somewhere between uh 250 to 350 something ish i don't know you might get lucky and get one for 200 i don't know or you might get lucky and somebody give you one like what happened to me but You'd have to be pretty lucky. I consider myself that. Anywho, let's get a drink of the Lord's drink. And uh, thank y'all for looking at this thing. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget, I'm past a thousand. 
subscribers. So, hey, thank you all for that. And we are going to do a giveaway. I'm trying to get something cool together right now. And I'm going to hurry about it because I want you all to get a cool gift. Whoever receives it, I want it to be something cool. Uh, we've done giveaways on this channel before, and I think every time it was something pretty neat. So I want to do keep that thing going. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, uh, check down below and see if you are. Uh, hit that little red button. Sub, sub. Tell your friends. Tell your mom and them. Tell your buddies. Tell your crush. Tell your barber about Richter Knives. And um, also hit the like button if you like this video. And hit the bell for notifications so you can get cool videos like this. And you'll know when they're ready to go. And uh, it'll alert you. You can watch these videos. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all are the best. Here's my 35GC Tiggy Cattle Knife. Richter. Out.